I'm Karen Johnson, and now we're going to demonstrate the hand applique stitch. And in this case, the edge has already been turned under on our project. Uh, but first, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to knot your thread. I'm using a very fine silk thread. This is 100 weight, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. I'm holding the needle in one hand and the tail in the other. I'm going to secure the tail and hold it pretty tight with my finger and just wrap it. Um, if you're using a regular cotton thread, you could probably wrap it three times, but because this is such a fine silk thread, I do it maybe seven times or so. I'm shifting hands and I'm still holding it very tight, all the wraps, pushing it through. Keep on holding it tight. And there's your knot. Okay, so Deb is here to demonstrate the regular applique stitch, and this is the hand applique stitch. And in this case, we already have the edge turned under. Um, this is my favorite method because it, we used starch to turn the edge under and then removed the template. So there's nothing left to cut out, and it's all ready just to start stitching. So Deb, go ahead. So I'm going to turn it over and stick, put my needle right through that fold to hold the knot. and then just take the stitch right through that fold. Now we're using um, contrasting thread here so that you can see the thread because otherwise you wouldn't even see Deb's stitches. Um, normally you would use something that's invisible. And again, we're using a very fine 100 weight silk thread, um, but a lightweight cotton thread also works or just any matching thread. The thread just glides through very nicely. And I like to, after about two, three stitches, just to take a little tug, helps to bury those stitches in even a little bit more, gives a nice edge to the piece. So it looks to me like you're going down in the same position that you came up, but just on the outside yes. of the edge, and then um, coming back up just a tiny bit away, maybe an eighth of an inch? Yes. Very nice. So now we're going to demonstrate an inside point, which is much easier than needle turn because we already used the starch method to turn under the edge, but it does just take a tiny bit of an extra stitch. So Deb, go ahead. Okay, and here I am at my inside point and I'm going to take an extra stitch here again just to secure this a little bit more for that inside point and then turn and up the other side and my experience has been because I'm not nearly as good as this as you are is that you can get a little bit of fraying but that extra little stitch in the corner even when there's fraying the stitch will kind of cover that fraying and protect it yeah so that even if you do experience a little bit because you've cut it so tight um, that it's not going to be a problem very nice thanks Deb you're welcome